morning, Francis Parker School 23. Students, staff, family, and friends, welcome back. Today is Thursday. It is May 27th, 2021, and today is a seed day. If you are sitting, please stand as we prepare for our Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart, and let's begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now let's say a powerful pledge. As members of the Francis Parker community, we will be at the top of our game. We will show compassion to those who need it. We will go for the best and not settle for less. We will be kind in what we say and do. We will show respect because we deserve respect. We will take responsibilities for our actions and be a positive force in our community because we are the definition of excellence. Thank you so much for your help with that. Let's get started with our shout out today. We do not have any birthday announcement for today, but we will definitely have some geared up for tomorrow. So let's start out with our kindergartners. These scholars have been working extremely hard and they have been exhibiting some excellent teamwork. So let's give a shout out to Cleo and Nori, Journey, Stacy, Amira, Emery and Carl for joining in on their class conversations and participating in their activities. They're doing a fantastic job getting ready for first grade. Keep up the great work, you all. We also have some scholars who have been succeeding very well in math. So let's hear it for our second graders, Silas, Scarlett, Lamaya, Alex, Felix, Teddy, Jackson, Colleen, and Emmy, who have all been working so hard to complete four or more Zern lessons. They did this all last week. So I can imagine what's going on this week. Also, our fourth graders, Shamir, Molly, and Haya have been working very hard. They've exceeded their weekly Zern goals. So it looks like we have several students who have zerned it. Keep up the great work. We are so very proud of you all. Also, over in fourth grade, we have Storm, who has been very brave. And she has been exhibiting her bravery and her ability to take risk in the classroom with her learning and her education. So I'd like to give her a shout out. Keep up the great work. Your teachers are proud of you. You're being brave, you're taking risks, and nothing can substitute that experience. So keep up the great work and you go, girl. Now we have some excellent uh, uh, celebrations today. So you are gonna be amazed at what is being celebrated today. Well, here it is. Well, let's start out with Go Gray in May. Go Gray today is brain tumor awareness. This brings awareness to all the research that is going towards finding a cure for brain tumors and brain cancer. So we want to wear gray or recognize this today and all month. Also, we would like to remember how the tape was invented. Richard Gurley Drew invented the invisible tape in 1930. He created the tape from cellulose and originally called the cellulose tape. However, it is now called scotch tape or invisible tape. So ways you can celebrate this tape day is by maybe wrapping a package with tape, maybe taking a picture to the fridge, maybe even taping some torn pages, just using tape in any way you can. See if you can get your hands on some scotch tape today. If you notice, today is also National Eat More Fruits and Vegetables Day. So make sure you strive for five today and try and eat as many fruits and vegetables as you can today. We are also recognizing that today is Sunscreen Awareness Day. You're gonna hear a little bit more about that tomorrow, but remember to wear your sunscreen when you're going outside in the warm weather to protect your skin. And did you know that today is National Great Popsicle Day? Well, yes, it is. Make sure you get you some popsicles today. If they're not great, that's okay. But today is National Great Popsicle Day. 
Today is also nothing to fear day. And I have a quote here. This day came about when Theodore Roosevelt, our former president, was doing a speech. And in his speech, he quote and unquote said this. We must not be defeated by the fear of the very danger which we are preparing to resist. So I'm here to tell you today, be fearless, be a risk taker, try new things. I have some quotes that I'd also like to share with you from his wife, Eleanor Roosevelt. And she once said, you gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. You must do the thing you think you cannot do. And she also said, I believe that anyone can conquer fear by doing the things he fears to do, provided he keeps doing them until he gets recorded, gets a record of successful experience behind him. So try, try, try until you can't try again. Also, I want you to recognize that today is old time player piano tape. And this is a machine that blew across the country starting in the late 1890s, like a blizzard over a Nebraska plain was not in fact a player piano. It was called a piano player. And it was on wheels. You rolled it up to your piano keyboard. You adjusted several knobs for height. And then you sat in front of it and you pumped two treadles that worked as pneumatic inside a traveling perforated paper roll of anything from 44 to 65 notes, compass actuated felt tip wooden rods that dropped down on the piano keys and played them. So let me give you a look of what this looks like and what it sounds like. I have a piece that has been prepared by the famous Scott Joplin, who was a music composer and writer. He also played several instruments and he created this particular piece that was played on the piano player. So I'd like to share that with you and let you see what that is all about. So exciting. So check it out. I'm just gonna give you a little snapshot of it so you can see what it looks like, how it's operated and what the music sounds like. This is from the 1920s during the ragtime era, so check it out. So there you have it, the wonderful player piano at its finest being played. What an amazing machine that is. And I wanted to share that with you today because it was very fascinating. So make sure in honor of player piano day that you remember what this music sounds like and what the machine looks like. Fascinating. And without further ado, I'm going to let you get off to your learning. So have a wonderful day. Thank you so very much.